Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter and today's episode we're playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider episode 27 and I hope you enjoy Planet Crafter 2 over and out. Goodbye. Impossible. I can't carry any more. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time. In 1521, 1538, 1539 and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. <sighs> Some of those kids are so high-spirited. I need a little break. Don't tell the sisters. <laughs> I could use a little spirits myself some days, but this mission does not allow alcohol, so I have to settle for the few moments of quiet I can find. All full up. Can't carry any more. secret. If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother, then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. <coughs> Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Second Seven. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. 25th of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey, Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. All full up. Can't carry any more. Refuge under his wings.
all full up. Twenty sixth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns, This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They had prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Tardaremos eternidades. ¿Cuántos Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. Un paso a la vez. Un día. Como si tuviéramos elección. The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. 
But in my heart I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. <sighs> this cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. There's a whole mural under here. <clears throat> Vera Cruz, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are just stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. Uh. Uh. leaves young to have all that response. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> Ooh! <gasps> 
looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Station two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription. I need to move the cart to direct the light beam to the door. Walk while you have the light. You have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. That mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Looks like the light activated something. Laura! Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be station four. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. need to direct the light beam towards the fresco of Veronica. These people look like they're too much more. I don't think this was just a crypt. I'll get it. Is that what I think it is? The Stations of the Cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. In the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. I'll need to direct the left light beam toward the crucifixion like scene. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. Need to direct the left light beam toward the crucifixion scene. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the Panther. Mm hmm. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't want me to push that bar. Let's do this. And the Roman 
ones driving the nails. They're carrying him. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh huh. So Lopez staged the whole thing. I think this was a plan the Romans drive in the nails. Yeah. 